Let's talk about the best timing and tactics to hit drop shots in Tennis Clash, a sports game published by Wider Life Studios. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay365 and to turn on the bell if you like this video. So, most Tennis Clash players have a natural tendency to hit the ball hard and they try to win the point by using powerful ground strokes or volleys. So in this video, we're going to see how drop shots can be taken into account to diversify your gameplay. You will see that adding this shot to your game will hurt your opponent with touch and placement. So, what is a drop shot in tennis? Of course, most of uh, tennis class players will already know what it is, but let me remind it anyway. A drop shot is when you hit the ball softly over the net, so it lands short into the court. It's best to hit a drop shot when the opponent is standing somewhere back behind the baseline or uh, out of position. That means that this shot can be used versus any play style, whether it is uh, the counter puncher, the high serve big forehand, or the serve volley. However, it works best versus baseliners, as you can see in this video, because they tend to position much more often near the baseline. That means far from the net. However, versus warriors, drop shots can work too, as they can be out of position when you hit that shot. So a good drop shot will land barely over the net. The opponent will not be able to run towards the net to get it before it bounces twice. Best drop shots hardly bounce, so it's very tricky for your opponents to return those shots properly and powerfully. And most of the time, even with long catch tier 2, the opponent will only be able to return your shot with a lot of difficulty, really. That will allow you to follow up with an easy winner like you are going to see so many times in this video. If you already have a good swipe when you play Tennis Clash, controlling your shots easily, then you will love hitting drop shots. If you are not already playing those shots, obviously, a lot. Compared to a normal shot, the drop shot has a much shorter swipe. Longer and fast swipes generally allow for more power, of course, while short swipes create better timing and feel, helping you to hit the ball softly. You can even swipe backward then forward immediately after to hit the perfect drop shot, not the soft drop shot, like I explained how to do it in another video published on the channel Gameplay365. So if you simply type Tennis Clash drop shot or uh, GP365 drop shot in YouTube, you will see that video in the first reasons. So that drop shot gesture requires a bit more of uh, fineness, but if you master it, it can be deadly for a lot of baseliners especially. So unlike in real life tennis, you don't need to disguise your drop shot in Tennis Clash. Just think about using this shot when your opponents have less stamina. Ideally when the stamina bar is orange or even red. And you can even abuse this shot when your opponents use a string having long catch so that you can force them to activate the long catch to catch your drop shot and then you will force them to drain their stamina even faster which ultimately will help you hit drop shots later in the match with even more efficiency because your opponent's overall stamina will be decreased due to efforts made to catch your previous drop shots. However, just don't hit drop shots all the time in each rally for instance, don't hit a drop shot automatically after 3 or 4 shots in each rally because then your opponents will see your hitting pattern very easily and they, they will anticipate very, very simply, especially if they are experienced players. So in order to prevent the opponent from anticipating your drop shot, well, best players will disguise their drop shots by hitting them randomly. They will switch quickly from their powerful round strokes to a sudden drop shot now and then. However, don't forget that you should always try and hit those drop shots 
when the stamina bar of the opponent is orange or red, not when it's still green, because if your opponent still has a green stamina bar, he will get to the ball quite easily and hit it back very hard. And then you will have to be on defensive mode. Drop shots are an extremely useful tactic on the tennis court when you use effectively, whether it's in real life tennis or in tennis clash. So the timing of the drop shot must be perfect in order to hurt your opponent. If you use the drop shot when you are out of position, then it is only a defensive shot, a kind of a last hop shot. It may result in an error, an unforced error, or an easy shot ball for your opponent. However, there are several times when it is a good idea to hit the drop shot. So, to improve the drop shot timing, I recommend you use a drop shot when your opponent is out of position or slow. At every level of tennis class player, whether you are beginner, intermediate, advanced or even professional, the drop shot is a viable strategy if your opponent is tired slow or out of position. Late in the match, for example, the drop shot is an especially useful tool because your opponent isn't as fresh as they were at the start of the match, obviously. And you can easily see that in the stamina bar of both players, unless your opponent uses a Max Kaito lineup with level 13 Anvil and level 13 Kato sourcing, using a special string, having no long catch, having a hand counter and stamina shin tier 2, well, unless all those conditions, your opponent will be most of the time tired by the end of the match. Additionally, if you have pulled your opponent off of the court with an angle shot, it's often effective to play a drop shot back behind them while they are trying to recover. Meaning when they try to run to the other side, thinking, anticipating for your shot to the other corner. So this change of direction will throw the opponent off balance. That means that you can try hitting a deep cross court and then hit a short drop shot in the same direction as your opponent is recovering the other direction. It's a kind of wrong footing shot, but not hit with power, only with delicacy. So of course, it is easier to apply the strategy if you master the swipe perfectly already and you control all your shots with high accuracy, meaning that you commit very few enforced errors. And if you are experienced enough to alternate between hard, fast shots and delicate drop shots. If you master the control of your swipes, then you will love using the drop shots. Another good strategy is to hit drop shots. If you see that your opponent is comfortable at the baseline, but not so much at the net. Even in tour 8 or 9, many of experienced players stay away from the net unless they are forced to come inside the court. Of course, I talk about baseliners, uh, not of uh, serve warriors. Most players are much better at rallying from the baseline. So, learn how to draw your opponents out of their comfort zone by hitting drop shots. You know how much I love my cross court drop shots that I started hitting very early in the game versus any opponent using strings having long catch. I started hitting those cross court drop shots in the old 207 as soon as I came to play in, in the 027. So that was a long, long time ago. I can assure you that those Costco drop shots are hated by a lot of players who just don't like returning drop shots because they are out of their comfort zone. A third thing to remember is that drop shots add variety when you have been hitting with power. Variety and diversification is an important tactic for tennis clash players. You know that I say that all the time in my live streams. Try to mix up your shots. If you hurt your opponent with power and push them behind, behind the baseline, well, the drop shot is then extremely effective to mix. That's why extremely explosive members of the GP25 and Friends Club, like Bon Bon and Luago, that you see a lot of Luago's hits in this video, hit so many drop shot winners. 
when your opponent expects a hard shot deep in the court, the drop shot is a very good alternative. Keep this in top of mind. Finally, it can be useful to use the drop shot to approach the net, like when you hit a lob drop shot when you play with serve volley against another volleyer. That is because one of the most common responses to drop shots is to hit another soft or short shot. Many of the best players hit the drop shot and move into the net behind it. So, of course, that's a it's rather true if your opponent plays the counter puncher or the high serve big forehand styles because the volleyer will most of the time try to hit a strong down the line or cross court volley or smash back, obviously. So, by using the drop shot as an approach shot, you can gain positioning in the court and get ready for the next ball. This way you are also at the net and have narrowed down your opponent's shot selection, your, the, the shot range, by taking away the angles. If your opponent plays counter puncher or high serve big forehand, they often have to hit up on the ball. So by being at the net, you can hit a volley for a winner when you play serve volley or a big forehand or backhand winner pretty easily if you play counter puncher or high serve big forehand. Now, when should you avoid hitting the drop shot? Well, avoid hitting drop shots when you are out of position or moving backwards, of course. Unless, well, it's the last hop shot, a double or nothing shot, you know. Sometimes you will see ridiculous drop shots in this video that are hit while the hitter is completely out of position, but these shots are risky even for the player who hits the drop shot. These shots might make uh, the tennis clash tough five, but they won't consistently win matches. Very often, Luego will hit those uh, drop shots while he is out of position very simply because he considers that those shots are his uh, double or nothing shot, you know, the last hop shot, like I say. If you want to hit very efficient drop shots, you need your character to have his feet balance. Very simply. <laughs> That's easy to say, of course. I know. Moreover, if the drop shot is used too often, it may become predictable. As I said previously, that is very important. You need to keep that in mind. When your opponent starts to anticipate your drop shots, they can get to them quickly and attack the shot ball. So you have to mix them with other shots even when your character is having his fit balance. Sometimes you can even bet on the fact that your opponent is going to anticipate for a drop shot from your part and then you will hit a corner shot very simply. That can work very well too, believe me. Enough talking about timing and strategy to hit drop shots. Well, let's just appreciate the show, the last drop shots winners offered by Luago now. He's probably the player of the GP365 and Friends Club who loves most hitting drop shots. He sent me so many beautiful drop shots and that was very hard for me to select the best to make a compilation of uh, efficient drop shots for this video. I hope that you enjoy the show. Well, I hope that you enjoy watching the compilation of nice drop shots and I hope that you know now a bit better about the timing and strategies to when to hit drop shots and when to avoid hitting drop shots in Tennis Clash, a sports game published by Wild Life Studios. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay TC5 and to turn on the bell to stay tuned for all the nice compilation of winners like this one. Thank you a lot for your support and see you soon on Gameplay TC5. Bye bye.